The Washington Uniparty just crapped out a border deal that, as you would expect, puts America last. The deal trades more money for Ukraine and Israel in return for keeping our borders wide open and actually giving 1.5 million illegal border crossers amnesty while locking in green card giveaways through 2030, presumably in the expectation that they will become loyal socialist voters as previous waves of illegals have. The welfare warfare state in full effect with the added bonus of replacing Americans with a crop of brand new voters. If it worked for California, by gum, it can work for America. This little deuce was hatched by a handful of corrupt rhinos teaming up with socialist Democrats. As always, when you hear the word bipartisan in Washington, that means the corrupt uniparty is coming for you. First, the specifics. It would spend $118 billion. For this, we would get legalization of 1.5 million illegals per year. That's 5,000 per day. The other 10 million plus illegals will presumably have to wait for another war, perhaps the one we are cooking up with Iran or over Taiwan. It hands $2.3 billion immediately to the non-government organizations that are making a mint importing welfare cases to every nook and cranny of America because Democrats do know who brought them to the party. And then comes the payoff to Republicans. The bill plows over $93 billion into our rapidly expanding universe of wars, including $14 billion to Israel and another $5 billion for Hamas, or Gaza. And suddenly, just last week, Rand Paul was marveling how we somehow managed to fund both sides of wars. So there you go. Beyond Hamas, the sellout leads no war behind, with $5 billion going to gin up a war with China. They're already moving weapons to Australia in preparation. And $2.3 billion for the Red Sea, which is used by European and Chinese ships, but not by American ships. Somehow, though, we must pay. Finally, a crisp $60 billion for Ukraine's lost cause so Zelensky can continue sending the flower of Ukraine's youth to die in his pointless meat grander. Of course, the left is still angry because having intentionally thrown open the southern border to human traffic 10 million political footballs, they wanted more amnesty so they could flip more states blue. Meanwhile, Republican voters, of course, once again feel betrayed by a party that will sell them down the river if it funds just one corrupt dictator and secure some cheap fruit pickers and manual labor for their corporate donors. So what's next? Brought to you by Unchained.com. Joe Biden could fix immigration immediately with the stroke of a pen by simply reinstating Trump-era policies, including the so-called Remain in Mexico policy that required amnesty applicants to stay put until processed. Instead, his handlers are trying to milk their crisis to replace the current voters with a brand new crop, all while funding the army of non-government organizations that sustain their activist industrial complex. All with a GOP too corrupt to care so long as the donor checks keep flowing. Whether the Uniparty passes this turd sandwich or keeps kicking the can down the open border road, it's going to benefit Donald Trump in November, at which point all eyes turn to the margin of cheating to know whether there is light in that tunnel or whether we've got even darker days ahead. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.